Yeah, if you're five feet foot tall, be hideous and funny, life will figure itself out. It's almost lean into hideous. Yeah. It's like no one wants a well put just, together five foot man. I just hope you get the next Tim Burton who can find something that's, in you. That's right. You need to be a little monster. There are many topics and concepts we are all familiar with, but aren't exactly sure how they work. Each week, Alan Fitzgerald and I choose a topic and try our best to explain it. This is Explaining Things. Welcome back to another episode of Explaining Things. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Tilsworth, with my co-host, Alan Fitzgerald. Yeah, until he can be replaced. This okay. is a two-parter, and I'll let you cho choose which one we go with. All right. All right. How to be a five-foot-one man. How to be a 300-pound woman. <laughs> They're not easy lives. All right? A, a lot uh, of people hold it against them. Yeah, you know? I mean... Here's the thing, a 300 pound woman can get married. <laughs> she, she can get married. She can get married. That's true. You've seen the show on fucking TLC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Hell, it, 300 pounds, they wouldn't even make that show. <laughs> They'd be like, get the fuck out of here, you bag of bones. She can get married and it's not someone in a box being sh sh shipped overseas to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're yeah. five foot one, you need to order someone on the internet. Oh, start studying. Life is tough. Life is tough, all right? <laughs> I mean, listen, life is tough for both, okay? But they're mm -hmm. tough in different ways. They are. Who's got it harder yeah i would say uh the 300 pound woman doesn't get much respect but i would say a five foot one man gets zero yeah dude there are no groups for a five foot one yeah. man for you to get respect you have to invent a fucking app yeah that that you have to become a billionaire you have to just change your life around being five foot one you might go to the gym Get pumped up for five foot one. Mm -hmm. Study your balls off. Go to the best school you can. Become a superstar in whatever field you're trying. And even then, people are still going to be like, oh, little guy. Oh, there's still going to be a moment where like, you short fuck. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, yeah, well, I'm the short fuck with $10 million. <laughs> like, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't fuck. matter you short fuck. I'm yeah. five foot eight. Look at me. I'm a king. Yeah, five foot eight. <laughs> the five foot eight guys talk shit to the five one guys. That's right. You have to have a deep appreciation for Danny DeVito. Yes. That's a five foot zero man. Mm. Who had so much charisma, he became an A-list actor? Yeah. A-list? Yeah. Is that fair? A-list. Yeah. A-list. Yeah. Dude, Twins was a jam. That was a big fucking deal. Yeah, it, Danny DeVito had a heyday. He was the penguin in Batman, He was dude. the penguin in Batman. The other villains in that franchise? That was a big get. Oh, yeah. That was a big get. They're like, who else would be penguin? Yeah. Like, what are we going to do? Colin Farrell? <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito wore no prosthetics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He just woke up. He brought his own fish. He was like, I eat these at home anyway. <laughs> yeah, hey, can I bring my own fish? They're like, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> you have to be a charisma fucking animal. And, yes. e and even then, you're still kind of fucked. You need some mm -hmm. luck on your side. Or you could move to the Philippines and you would be of average height. <laughs> that is not a thing you can do. Some say a king. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying you have to lean so full into being fucking just nuts or charismatic. Tough. Because uh, you have no groups behind you. And this is one of the big differences. A 300-pound woman has defenders. That's true. She has beautiful women saying, she's beautiful. Yeah. Or they have groups that will just destroy also, you. hot women who want to encourage their competition to get fat. That is big. That's a fact. Yeah. Oh, yeah, keep yeah. eating, girl. That's right. A five-foot man can't help it. There's no treadmill to make him 5'6". No, there are surgeries out there, but you'll end up falling off at the knees or something. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, uh, you can't walk. Those are invasive. Yes. <laughs> Those are invasive. Also, you're, you're weird a, looking too. You're in a body kit. Yeah, because you still have the torso of a five foot tall man. Yes, but for some reason you have the legs of an NBA player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get stilts, okay? <laughs> but a woman has a movement behind her. A mm. woman has other women that look like her and don't look like her that will destroy you and ruin your career on, on social media. When it's a five foot one man, they're called a uh, short king. Which is sarcastic. Sarcastic. Always and sarcastic. cruel. It's so cruel. So, so cruel. Short like, king. Imagine if we were trying to get away with fat queens. That's my <laughs> fat queen. That's my morbidly obese queen right there. Look at her go. Short king is code for I'll never fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but nice hair gel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. Nice, <laughs> nice t-shirt. It fits right. Is that baby gap? <laughs> So I think, yeah, it probably is harder to be five foot one man. It is, you know, that's because there's no sympathy. I make fun of them behind their back. I'm not is, a monster. Who do you think is made fun of more? Who do you think hears more shit? I think actually the bigger woman hears shit. I think people yell fat cow more than they yell short fuck. Ah, uh, I'd be surprised at that. I'd be surprised. I mean, if she's being a bitch, sure. 
Okay? <laughs> That's the thing. That's the thing with both of these. So here's... Here, That's the thing with ladies, both of these. Ladies, If you're fat, just don't be a bitch. <laughs> well, the thing is... Episode over. The we thing figured. is, when you live in a glass house, okay, there's a saying about this, right? You better be a little... You better be friendly. Yeah. If you're a five foot one man and you're a dick, you're being called short fucking all day. He probably knows how to fight, though. He probably it bites. Doesn't matter. Oh, definitely bites. <laughs> he definitely, definitely bites. bites. He knows how to hug Little ankles. Animal. Hug ankles till you fall. <laughs> Do you think people still yell "fat bitch" out a window? I mean, I think like maybe if you're in a I bad mean, area. Not like... not usually, but the other day my internet was out, <laughs> so I couldn't watch TV. <laughs> what was I gonna do? <laughs> Have you ever heard a woman talk about a man who's five foot four and under? They talk about him in a way that I have to imagine like <laughs> race was discussed in before 1900. It's like it's yeah, it's like the it's way it's a subhuman. It's the way police talked about rape cases in 1972. That's exactly what it is. It's just like yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Sorry, you short fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what did the burglar do? <laughs> Literally, they'll put in their dating profile, no one under 5'8". No one, are, like, they'll put that in the, you might as well By say. By the way, when someone says, when a woman says no one under 5'8", it means they have a heart of gold. <laughs> because most women put no one under six feet. That's a lot of women. That is a lot of women. It's a lot okay? of women. No one under six feet. Imagine my dating profile being no one over 250. Yeah. You know? And let's get real. It would really be no one over 165. Blue <laughs> Market Falcon here. Is your dog a picky eater? Well, don't just look at it. Eat it. Want to add some pizzazz to mealtime? Try new doggy mayonnaise. Mayonnaise made specifically for dogs. Just a dab will do it. Go ahead. Mmm. Now that's good. Now you're probably thinking, that looks just like regular mayonnaise that you got from the food court at the mall. And that's not true. This was made for dogs. I made this myself. You're probably thinking I don't even have a car and I ride the bus. Come on. So for $19.95, I'll cram as many of these as I can into an envelope and send them off. Doggies just love dog mayonnaise. Arf! Women have support groups. Women have sympathy. Men have, I mean, let's get real. Men I, have I, other men telling them to man up. Men, men, <laughs> men have fucking AR-15s. All right, men have, well, let's, let's get real. Uh -huh. You fuck a couple more short men, I'll believe this till the day I die. Mass shootings would go down, okay? We treat them like shit and they've got nothing to do. They've got nowhere to go. Uh -huh. They've got no safe space. No skills. I shouldn't say no skills. They have skills. They got plenty of skills. They got plenty to offer, but yeah, it's a too small a package. Yeah. Uh, you know, 300 pound women also uh, run into a lot of disrespect. Like a lot of times they'll be charged extra in uh, nail parlors. <laughs> Because the, uh, people tell them, like, eventually you're going to break the chair, so why don't you pay an extra $5 every time you come <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or on an airplane. Airplane. Two seats. But that's fat people. But you know what? Uh, a five foot one man and a 300 pound woman, that's two seats that work. Yeah, that's okay? true. That's two seats that work. They so, make such natural allies. I think that's the thing. And I feel bad for the five foot one man because he might take care of himself. But it's like, guess what? We could really solve a lot of stuff if you two got together. But we need women to stop being so judgmental. Against mm -hmm. the short king. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think the five foot one guy, he'll take your 300 pound woman. No problem whatsoever. He will. He'll be happy. Just don't be offended when he says, honey, we should go to the gym sometime together. <laughs> <laughs> it's for your health. Yeah. It's for your health. Mm -hmm. You know, and if she asks you to put lifts in your shoes, you put them in your shoes. The sad thing here is the, the, fi the five foot one man can do nothing. And the 300 pound woman can theoretically. He has to be exceptional. Change your lifestyle. That's true. She can... She can lose ladies, weight. Ladies, there's lots of stuff you could do, like uh, starving yourself, throwing up for meals, sleeping in rubber. You have plenty of options out there. Some people have... You, we've all seen people that have a clear glandular problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like, we're, okay. We're not talking about the person with the massive facial features and like a pituitary disorder. Yes. Because that, 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 that person can actually relate to the five foot one man. There's nothing they could do. And by the way, I'm not a tall man. But I'm he... five eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell people I'm 5'9". Yeah, yeah. I'm 5'8". And the woman's emphasis on height is the only reason he had to add that half. Yes, o okay? exactly. That half didn't have to you be there. You made a liar out of me. <laughs> you made me a you liar. Made a liar. Yeah, your shallowness made me a liar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm 5'7". <five>, <laughs> 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 Not only can a short man get one bullet, he can get multiple magazines of bullets mm -hmm. and go to his favorite church, mall, or... If you see someone and they're 5'6", and they're just sort of looking at a Bed Bath & Beyond. 
Yeah. And you're like, this guy's not buying anything. He's just walking around yeah, 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 yeah. looking at exits. I'm not going to lie. I would not shit on a five foot one man uh, to his face. Because I would be afraid of being put on a list of... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not joking <laughs> at all. Like, it's a, it's a very difficult life. You get no respect yeah, and no one's on your difficult. side. There's no group. Here's the thing. Five foot one's crazy short. I think to make it fair, we should say 400 pound woman. Or a five foot four man. Five foot four man, 300 pound. Five foot four man, 300 that's, pound. That's woman. more even. But I mean, the problem with a five foot four man is like, he, there could be domestic violence against him. Mm-hmm. Very easily. Yeah. You know, if he's with a woman. Now you got to learn jujitsu. I mean, like a five foot eight woman who weighs 200, like that's not a rare person. You know, like that, that woman could just wipe the floor with a five foot four man. That's not true. I don't think so. I think that's a pretty even fight. If anything, I'd probably still give the guy the, uh, the edge. I guess I respect women more than you. Yeah, I guess so. All right. A big girl, when she starts moving. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, you get in the legs. Get her in the legs, and then she's down. Yeah, she's now down. we're the same height. <laughs> <laughs> and really, it's a hero's story at that point. <laughs> David versus Goliath. David versus Goliath. Can you imagine that's the news report? We have a David versus Goliath situation, Jay, where a five foot four man I know, short king, <laughs> killed his wife. <laughs> That's right. She was at Weight Watchers, not obeying the rules. <laughs> <laughs> They're both hard. Yeah, they, these are both very hard lives. And I have no problem saying five foot four instead. Because five foot one is, it's tough to find that guy. Yeah. But five foot four, you do see these guys out in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, and all the same things we just said apply to them. They are disrespected. Women shit on them. This is something we forgot about, actually. Uh, if a fat woman walks up to a guy in a bar, I think it's unlikely he's going to go, you fat bitch. Yeah. I think it's highly... Highly possible for a five foot four man to hit on a woman in a bar mm-hmm. and she makes a short joke at him. Yes. I think that's very possible and even more likely than, you know, vice versa. Yes. All right. And that changes a man. He could have been a friendly guy at his core and now there's a hatred brewing. Yeah, that's true. You know, kind of reminds me of the time uh, I wasn't racist and then my bike was stolen. Turned out it was a white guy. He found out years later, though. Too late. He's already racist. He was wearing a do-rag, though. <laughs> he, he, he was a white rapper. <laughs> and that's all I needed. <laughs> uh, what we're kind of saying in conclusion, uh, it's hard no matter what, but uh, I'm going to lean towards 300-pound woman. Mm, I think a 300-pound woman can uh, find love easier than a 5-foot woman. Yeah, and I think uh, there's less hate in her heart at the end of the day. Yes, Peter, yeah. That's what I think. So, uh, say what you want about explaining things, but I think that was a pretty feminist take. Yes. Bye, guys. <laughs>